So Trent Tassel back with you, only the one NBA game tonight. Game 5 between the Boston Celtics and the Washington Wizards, another uh, blowout game. This one, the Celtics on top, 123-101. to 101. Celtics won every quarter. They had their own run in this game and prevented any runs by the Washington Wizards. I believe it was 16 nothing in the first quarter. Never looked back for the Washington Wizards. Otto Porter Jr., 13.6 of 11. John Wall, 21.7 of 17. Four rebounds, four assists for Wall. Bradley Beal, 16 points on 7 of 19. So that shooting between the two of them still continues to be an issue. Kelly Oubre Jr. had 13 points in the bench. Some of them in garbage time. Uh, Washington, 35 of 91, 38.9. 7 of 29, 25% from 3. Amir Johnson got the start at the power forward. Played well in this game, I thought. 8 points, 5 rebounds, 1 block. Uh, you know, you take that offense when you can get him. Amir Johnson will have these games where he'll, you know, do do a lot of good things. It's uh, rare. It's a once-in-a-blue-moon sort of thing. But certainly, you'll take him when you can get him, and especially when they're in the playoffs in a tied series late in the series. Jay Crowder, 18 points, 2 of 5 from 3, 6 of 15. Al Horford was very good tonight. 19 points, 3 blocks, 7 assists, 6 rebounds. 8 of 9 shooting, 3 of 4 from 3. We'll get it more into Al Horford in a moment. Isaiah Thomas, again, not necessarily a spectacular game. He was plus 13. All the starters were plus, plus 6 for uh, Johnson, plus 19 for Crowder, plus 14 for Horford, plus 13 for Thomas, and plus 12 for Bradley. Bradley also had a good game. We'll get into him in just a moment. But Isaiah Thomas, 6 of 7 at the line, 2 of 5 from 3, 5 of 13 overall. Did have 9 assists in this one, but Washington is still committed to keeping him from going off. Avery Bradley, 29 points, did have 25 in the first half. They didn't really need him in the second. Six rebounds, three assists, four of seven from three, 12 of 19 overall. Uh, off the bench, a lot of garbage time minutes. Olenek, eight, plus 11. Marcus Smart, plus 13. Nine points hit, some threes, but they were in the fourth quarter when the game was pretty much already sealed. Did have 11 rebounds as well, six assists. Rozier, 5 points, 2 of 5. Altogether, 46 of 87, 52.9 for the Celtics, 16 of 33, 48.5. We've talked about that three-point shot a lot, and it showed yet again in this game. Now, moving forward, will the Celtics be able to get out of that house of horrors in Washington? Remember, the Celtics went 23 and 18 on the road. They both had the same road record this year in the regular season at 30 and 11 Celtics went 23 and 18 Washington 19 and 22 you would assume that a road team is going to be able to win we know the Celtics problems I think they found a lot tonight not giving up that run first of all and also not allowing or getting the other guys going as well now let's see if they'll travel Bradley and Crowder have struggled at times they've shown the ability to do have these games and then struggled other times I think it was very important to get Horford going the way they have. They're going to need him. I don't expect Isaiah Thomas to be held down much longer, so we'll see if this can end in six. It's certainly possible. I wouldn't be happy if I'm Washington moving forward knowing that you kept Isaiah Thomas in check again. Are you going to be able to do it for four straight games? I don't know, but you certainly gave the Celtics a blueprint, and it's going to be Al Horford, I think, because Bradley and Crowder, though Bradley is a bit more of a consistent player, Jay Crowder is certainly streaky. I wouldn't expect the same game on the road. Al Horford's a guy who's been there, and he's going to have to bring it forward, but we'll certainly see and certainly see if Isaiah Thomas can go off yet again. All right, tomorrow, only one game, of course. There's only these two series at San Antonio, Houston, Game 6, San Antonio up 3-2. Should be watching that game. We'll give you the recap when it goes final. Thanks so much, and we'll see you next time.